Hello everyone, it's Chris Pritt back again with a new topic in West Virginia Divorce. Today's topic is enforcement of court orders. One of the most common questions I get is what to do about uh, enforcing a court order after the divorce has been finalized. People think, well, I, there's this court order that says I've got responsibilities, he or she has responsibilities. Uh, well, what happens if the other person doesn't comply with the order? The answer to that is that you file what's called a petition for contempt. A petition for contempt is in, it's a petition that's filed in the family courts in West Virginia to enforce a court order. So let's say that somebody is responsible to pay on a certain credit card after the divorce is filed. What happens is you can file a petition for contempt against that person. And so what that means is they will be brought before the court and when they come before the court, they will have to explain to the court why they did not do what they were supposed to do. Sometimes they might have uh, a defense or reason as to why they haven't been complying with the order. It's, it's very, very difficult to get above that though. I mean, everybody has to comply with a court order. And if they are found to be in contempt, the court has several options that they can do. They can find the person, they can award the person their attorney fees. They can, um, in some instances, though it's fairly uncommon, they can also incarcerate a person. And so that, co that comes down to anything at all that you can think of where a person might be ordered to do something. Paying alimony, paying child support, not cooperating and uh, enforcing the parenting plan the way it's supposed to be enforced. All of those things are things that could be brought up in a petition for contempt. So one of the things you should always note though is that it's, it's really important that you don't sit on your rights when it comes to enforcing certain things. So for example, if a significant amount of time goes forward and um, let's say the two of you are going contrary to what the parenting plan says and it's on a consistent basis and it lasts for longer than six months, then what can happen is uh, the other person could argue that there's in place what's called a de facto parenting plan. As soon as the person is in violation of the order, it's very important that you make sure that they know that you do not agree with what they're doing uh, and that they need to do whatever it takes to comply with the order of the court. So that sums up in a broad sense what you do in the event that somebody is not complying with the court order is you simply file a petition for contempt, you go before the judge, and the judge decides what to do. Uh, that's a pretty good overview of that issue. If you have any other questions about this or any other topic, feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email. Have a great day.